Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. Now welcome to this beautiful uh, data structures tutorial. So um, I'm, I'm probably not going to update this a lot, I'm going to try to, um, but I'll try to update the most important data structures. And I want to tell you in this video a little shortly just what is a data structure, why do we use it, and uh, how do they work. Now data structures can be a lot of things, and a lot of you probably taking a course called data structures and you have everything thrown at you you have linked lists stacks you have all kinds of beautiful stuff uh, trees and all that stuff now a data structure a simple explanation of a data structure is just how you put data together how, how you kind of organize a lot of data and you kind of how you traverse through these uh, or how you traverse through the data now a data data can be anything right now I can make an int here int one that's data oh wait not int one sorry int i int x uh, and int a now this isn't a certain data structure right it's just random i can i can access these as i want i equals two a equals uh three x equals i whatever i can, I can do whatever i want with this right now I, this isn't really a data structure since it's just data a structure as we call it is basically structured data it's not that hard now what we could do is we could make an array right a um, 10 int a 10 equals 1 2 3 and etc etc an array right uh, that's a data structure isn't it because it's structured data now you can get at these this data using the index operator and you can get all the data now that's a very simple data structure but sometimes we can make more complicated data structures like trees where we basically have one little node to start with it's called a root and you'll make a class called node and it will just hold a data and it will hold a pointer or two pointers to the one to the left child and one to the right child now once you are in your tree you can create a left child then it will also be an of the class node right and that node will hold its own data with its own two pointers to its own left and right child so you can make a, another uh, left child here to this one or you can make a right child to this one all right so if we make a right child here now let's make a few children remember all of these are nodes right and we'll say we just have one little left child here now this is a data structure called a binary tree. Binary meaning there are two children, right? A regular tree would have a lot of children. It can have a lot of children. Each of them can have as many children as they want. Uh, but here, this is a binary tree, so only a left and a right child. So what happens is, this is our root. I'll, I'll mark it with this symbol. This is our root, and these are leaves. Leaves are the final uh, nodes in a tree. They're the most bottom nodes. And the root is the top now we could traverse through this and the beauty of this is it's not just random data the data in here could be anything it could be integers it could be whatever it could be uh, names it could be people whatever but that's the way we structured our data we put it in kind of this tree like structure now if we start here with root we're looking for something well and and uh, if the tree is kind of organized and, and sorted uh, we can check like this. We can check the well. This number here isn't what we're looking for. All right, let's go check if the left or the right one is. If the left one is closer to the number we're seeking, then we'll keep going in that tree. We'll ignore this whole part. Now that's the whole point of data structures is to optimize how we find our data. Now that's a complicated data structure. For now, we'll talk about linked lists to start off with. All right, so a linked list or a stack. Now I'm going to draw both of those. Just give you a little. Uh, beautiful explanation to how those work um, the stack is very simple it's like a stack of cards right the last thing you put on is the first thing that's gonna go out you can make a stack where you put stuff in and you take stuff out from the bottom now it's very simple a stack could be a they could be integers here you can stack integers on here as many as you want so imagine your stack being empty, you put an integer in here, boom, number one. 
you put an integer another integer on here well this is two another integer boom now if you want to pop a stack you're gonna remove you're gonna remove the first item and it's gonna return the data from that item so this was the number three it's gonna be removed and you'll get the number three get the number two and get the number one and then your stack is empty that's a stack that's how you structure data it's the certain way you put the data in there and how you get it out and retrieve it and the same thing with a linked list now a linked list is good because an array kind of I mean you have to traverse through it in 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 linked lists everything is linked through nodes and that's good in a way because it's not kind of indexed in the same way um, because if you want to get something well, I'll explain that to you in the linked list tutorial. Anyway, don't don't think about that right now. Well, anyway, uh, we'll have nodes in this fashion instead. Every, this is still a node. This is a node that is a class in C++, and we'll have a node pointer to another node and a data. So this is going to hold data and the pointer to its next node. And we'll keep going uh, like this, right? And... <coughs> Yeah, the beauty of it is you can get the last item and the first item really quickly because you can keep track of those using pointers all the time. Um, and linked lists can keep going like this. You can have circular linked lists where you kind of link. Oh, God, I don't know how to do this. Uh, I don't even know, man. You kind of link it back like this. So you have a circular linked list. Now, what I'm going to do in my tutorial to start off with is just a simple linked list to get started but yeah don't be deterred data structures aren't that hard all you have to do is just try to imagine how and draw it out for yourself every step of traversing now how do you know if a linked list has reached its end that you're at the end element well the next pointer will be a null pointer how do you know if it's empty well if the first node or if there isn't a first node the root pointer is null pointer then you know it is an empty list right now so that's how kind of the data structure works it has its own rules and so yeah that's basically it we're going to be using this online compiler right now and i'm going to talk about a little bit uh how to work with linked lists in the beginning we'll also go through sorting algorithms uh in these videos so yeah just be prepared for that as well but uh, but yeah thanks for watching guys and girls uh Best of luck on your course if you're going one. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video, alright? Bye-bye.